gentlemen, hello and once again, good evening YouTube, welcome back. Welcome back to some more of this game. Fast and Furious PS2. Last time we bought this super cool Dodge Viper, but as it always goes, we will not be driving the Dodge Viper. No, in fact, we are going to go to the Robo Garage and swap over to the 3000 GT so that we can do some more one gun races. Because the Viper is going to be used for drifting. And we're going to drive the 3000 GT GTO thing. It might finally be the end of the Levin, though. We might have finally driven the Levin for the last time, which really does say something about the longevity of this vehicle. So, yeah. So, so much for that. We did, in fact, purchase this $86,000 Viper, and we're going to immediately park it and drive something else. Could drive an 01 RX-7. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's all right. It's, 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 it's actually pretty decent. It's slick. It's an easy design. Over easy. I'm okay with that. There's also the Sprinter. Oh my god, where's the GTO? <laughs> so it says 98 GTO Twin Turbo MR, but then it says drive in the upper right hand corner. It says all wheel drive. Make up your fucking mind, game. So anyway, yes, it is in fact finally time to get the Pac-Man mobile back out. <laughs> the giant pink Pac-Man mobile. This car is perfect. Like, there's no two ways about it. This is literally the greatest car to ever be created in any playthrough of anything. Ever. More iconic than the Citron in Juice 2. More iconic than any Honda CRX that I've ever driven in any game. This is it right here. This is the pinnacle. Truly. Truly, we have reached the pinnacle. Anyway, today we're going to do some one gun races. It should be pretty interesting and stuff. I'm pretty excited because, you know, we get to just, you know, bullshit. So we got Rainbow Bridge. I already did that. Maybe we didn't do the Rainbow Bridge. Let's, let's look at Rainbow Bridge and see what kind of uh, gay pride related things can happen on this uh, locale. No, it's new. Okay, we got a new... Yep. Okay, this is one gun. Alright. Okay, I did not just waste the first five fucking minutes of this session on stuff that will not even be seen. No, we are in fact going to be doing... That was a good burp. Oh, that tasted a lot like pickles. I hate pickles on burgers. So whenever a burger comes with pickles, I eat the pickles off first. You know, when I was a child, I did not like, well, I, I still don't like pickles on burgers. But the point is, is that instead of, okay, I'll talk about that after we read the biography. That's the only thing that matters. If you want to get technical, it's H.J. Norman III. You could call him Howie. His deeds and unorthodox driving styles are known across the land of the rising sun. It, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. How he owns the road with his Eclipse. I thought, I thought it was a, a Nissan. His rivals holding back out of fear. Don't let his wily ways give him the upper hand. I thought for sure that was a Nissan. But it is not, in fact, a Nissan. So when I was a child, I did not like, have, I did not like pickles at all. See, whenever we had pickles uh, when I was younger, we were poor, right? We were absolute dirt white trash poor. So we got the shittiest pickles you can possibly imagine. The cheap store brand ones that are just pure mush. And it's just nasty. I don't see why anyone would even fucking think about putting that shit on anything. Let alone a burger. And you know, I love burgers because, you know, America. <laughs> America and whatever. But yeah, I literally, the, la the, for the last time that I ate a burger with pickles on it, I was probably about six years old, and my uncle pulled a prank on me, and I was, and I, my fucking grandma, like, actually fucking punished him for that. He, he was like, you go to your fucking room, because he lived with my grandma. Anyway, 
That was the last time that I had a pickle on a burger until like about a month ago when we were removing the stupid ass mattresses, if you'll recall. Uh, the boss bought a bunch of McDonald's cheeseburgers for everyone, but she did not get them in plain, so um, I had to eat the pickles off those burgers. But I was too lazy and too ravenous to even bother taking the shit off. I was like, fuck it, I'm too hungry to care right now. So yeah, it, it was about 20, 19, 20 years between my, the previous time that I had a pickle on a burger and then that day about a month ago. So yeah, that, that story just took about three minutes to tell and it was pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> pretty fucking stupid is the word that I would go with. Uh-oh, we are not going to win this because there's fucking people in the way. All right. Well, thankfully, H.J. Norman decided to not fucking pass me, given that very obvious opportunity to pass me, so that's good. I appreciate that. So this is the new location. We haven't been on this road yet. This is a brand new road with all sorts of new, you know, surprises, like, you know, there could be a couple of billboards as opposed to one billboard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just highway. Once you've seen one, you know, bit of an interstate, you've pretty much seen all of them. Not a whole lot to actually, uh... Not a whole lot to, uh, figure out when it comes to this game. Anyway, that's the end of that first race. Yay! Success! We're successful, and I got $6,000. I definitely need that. <laughs> oh, I definitely need... I definitely need $6,000. Actually, I probably do. You know, given the amount of money it's going to cost to upgrade the Viper eventually. See, we're just purchasing... We're not even playing this game for, like, the sake of completing it. All we're doing is collecting money to put towards the next car. But that next car never comes. Because we're currently driving the next car. We're currently driving the new 3000 GT. But I'm still just earning money for the Viper. And it's just like, bruh, what's even the point? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time, man. It's a good time. Anyway, let's go to the next event. Hello, it's another Mitsubishi. Yataro is a recent addition to Sunshine Run. His previous experience as one of the top Japanese drag racers led Fujito to open up another spot in a very exclusive crew. If you plan on being Yoredo, bring your best. Alright, well, I mean, this is the best car I've ever made, so, I mean, can't say I'm not bringing my best. It's very annoying how squeaky this chair is. Very annoying indeed. I was thinking about whether or not I should get another new fucking desk chair. <laughs> Feel like that's something that you should spend extra money on. You see, in my life, I've been poor for the majority of my life. Okay, let's see, let's see. Have I really? Has it been the majority? When did my parents get rich? That's the real question, is when did the fucking, when did it turn? When did we turn from a poor family to a rich family? Probably around... 2000, probably around 2014, if I'm honest. So I would have, yeah. Probably around when I was 14 or 15. So we're coming up. We're coming up on uh, the crisscross from when, like, the first half of my life is a certain thing, and then the second half of my life, and then the rest of my life are completely different. The point I'm trying to make is that we were poor for a very long time, which taught me that spending money erratically is stupid. Also, I was a college student for a while, so that kind of... Oh! Dude! This road sucks. I missed the other uh, hot spot where the roads weren't such living, breathing aids. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. We're still turning right. All right. Made it through that corner. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, so I always saved money my whole life. And I still save money to this day. Like, I don't buy anything unless I fucking need it. Unless it's a fucking CD on eBay. In which case, I will spend on that. But, like, I don't spend money. The only thing that I buy is food. 
But then again, there are some things in this life that you really do need to spend the extra couple of dollars on. And I think the most important things to spend money on is a good bed, a good car, and a good computer. Now that's just me. Oh, we got the panda! We finally got the panda drift charm. Yes, the best drift charm. And we got the panda vinyl. Oh my goodness gracious. I think the Viper's gonna be a panda car whenever we get around to putting that shit together. We finally unlocked the panda. Yes, I'm so happy. Because that's just me. I sleep a lot. I mean, everyone sleeps. Everyone spends at least a third of their fucking life sleeping. So you may as well give yourself the best sleep possible. So I bought like an $800 mattress a couple of years ago, and it's still in basically perfect condition. It's one of them really like heavy memory foam ones. So that thing could probably last another 20 fucking years easily. Anyway, next, Alexis. A fucking Alexis. Kichiro has dreamed of making an automobile racing dynasty. Alongside friends Fuj Fujio, Kairu, and the group. What is this? Kingdom fucking hearts characters? He's created the Sunshine Run. He rolls in style with the LFC. Oh yeah, definitely. A car capable of testing the lawn going to its ultimate limits. Oh yeah. Yeah, style. The, 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 fu the fucking word Lexus and the word style do not belong in the same sentence. It's a top speed battle, so gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, so I think everyone can agree that a good bed is important. But for me, good car is necessary for traversing the fucking tundra that is North Dakota. I picked a terrible car for that, by the way. <laughs> and then me, computer. Literally my entire fucking computer, or my entire career, hinges on computers. My entire fucking career hinges on the existence of computers. So of course, I want to purchase one that's good. And can actually, you know, handle my, uh, breakneck, uh, editing style. I don't know. Um, we need to focus on this, so yeah. But yeah, even I will spend the extra couple of dollar reviews on stuff like that. Okay. This should be a pretty good straight line. Yep, I'd say 212. 212 is... Ooh, excuse me. Pardon me coming through. I think 212 is going to be a good number for the, uh... Top speed battle. Or 211.6 if you want to get down to the nitty gritty of it. But yeah, I generally don't spend money because the vast majority of my life we were dirt fucking poor. And then I went to college and didn't have access to my fucking parents' wealth. <laughs> Fuck. I remember being in college and I literally was making no money. The only money that I was making was off the FNAF video. And then even then it was just like a hundred dollars a month. Because the fucking Freedom Network was full of shit. Fucking stupid ass shit. Now available Lexus dealership. Gee. Thanks! What a great unlock! The previous character that we beat, we unlocked the Panda. Which is the best drift charm and character in this game, if we're honest. This motherfucker unlocked us a Lexus dealership. Wow. G awesome. Thanks. Fuck off. Oh yeah, dude. We actually got the camera angle I was trying to get there. Holy shit. We might actually have a thumbnail on our hands. Oh my goodness, that is crazy right there. Man, top speed battles are stupid. What's the point of this shit? Like, even if you were doing with, like, two players. Like, if you were playing this game, if you somehow convinced someone to play The Fast and the Furious on PS2 with you, even if you were doing a two-player race, top speed battle is literally just find a straight fucking line and go fucking press the NOS button. There's no skill involved at all. Alright, another Mitsubishi. Kairu. What do you have to say for yourself? Known as the father of evolution. Holy goddamn shit. Charles Darwin, like, back the fuck off. Here's Kairu, father of evolution. Most racers credit Kairu with single-handedly making the all-wheel drive rally demon known outside of Japan. Kairu's efforts did not go unnoticed, and the Lancer evolution has since crossed over 
The Pacific with the Evil Eight. Or V I I I. Always a racer aiming to compete with the best equipment possible. Kairu now pilots the incredible Concept X on the one going. Wow. How interesting and stuff. No, I think people were introduced to the uh, absolute wrath of the Rally Lancer Evolution in Gran Turismo 3. And 2, for that matter. Car is just fucking a joke. It's so fucking vastly overpowered. And, like, no one can keep up with it. Okay, time for another thrilling and enthralling top speed battle. Very cool indeed. Yeah. I've played very little split-screen over the years. Two-player games are just like, you know, you need another fucking player to be able to do them. So, you know, me not having any fucking person on planet Earth to fucking play games with. That kind of, oh, that kind of affects my ability to be able to play uh, split-screen games. Actually, I almost got this shit without even needing to use nonce. Dude's barely even trying over here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. We got traffic. Ooh, split him. Split him. Oh, God. Well, we were doing good. And now we're turning right. Uh, very cool indeed. A very interesting creative decision to have to go back and forth on the top speed battles. Kind of have to know where you're going first things first, otherwise you'll waste all your boost in the wrong spot, and then, uh-oh. Oh! You fucking bitch! No, get back here. No, I ain't falling for that shit. No. No, I'm still gonna beat you to the line, motherfucker. No, you ain't pulling that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, girl. Uh! Yeah, Kairu and your fucking Lancer. Evolution X. Sound like fucking, uh... Edgy. Reboot of evolution. Oh, I'm not gonna beat him to the line. Or I might beat him to the line. Never mind. I ran out of boost, and I did not beat him to the line. But I still won the event. Get ready. Level 5 fuel and injection systems are unlocked. That's cool. I bet they're overpriced and not actually helpful in the slightest, but, you know, it's still cool. It's still cool. Oh my goodness. This is quite something. This is quite the game. All right, who are we facing off against? Oh, ooh, ooh, it's another fucking Lexus! No! I'm not impressed by the Lexus. Get this shit off my screen, dude. I don't know who in their right mind ever thought like, yo, you know what we should do for our super awesome race car game with tuners and cool stuff? We should put in a bunch of Lexuses. Yeah, that'll make it. That'll make things interesting. Fuj, Fujio is the ultimate engineer and street racer. His car of choice is the much lauded and very exclusive LFA concept car. Nothing is lauded about this shit. Few have seen this car on the street. Why would they want to see it on the street? Fujio san, however, pulled off some very special strings to cruise with this one of a kind racing monster. Watch out. Yeah, I'll watch out for the shitbag Lexus. Yes, definitely. Oh, I'm in fact shaking in my shoes at the prospect of racing a Lexus. So, what should we talk about in this fucking video? <laughs> I don't know. I have nothing to talk about. I've done nothing interesting since the last session. And I really didn't do anything before the last session either, so, you know. There's just really not a whole lot to be discussed when it comes to, uh, basically anything at this point. Are we taking a turn? Yes, we're taking a turn. It... Okay, well, so much for you. That's not even my fault, by the way. Like, why do we turn immediately as the race starts? Like, we're just getting up to speed, and then we have to fucking break. Like, that is not my fault. That is far from my fault. He is still stuck on this turn back there. Alright, so we have broken Fujio. So, so much for this race. I mean, do we want to give him a fair fight? Let's give him a fair fight. Fuck it. At least make this fucking event interesting. Let him have a fair fight. In his shitbag Lexus. <laughs> there you go, Fujio. 
Mono a mono. We're doing a fair fight this time around. All right, here we go. So, um, what should we talk about? I can't really think of anything to talk about. The only the only reason I'm recording is because I woke up fucking okay. So I got called at 8:30 this morning by work because that's my fucking alarm clock at this point is people at work calling me in at fucking 8 in the morning. I was supposed to have today off and I wasn't gonna eat today. You know, you remember in the last session how I said you know, oh if you don't eat you lose weight. Well I was thinking okay I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a no eating day on my day off. I have literally no food in my house. I've got, you know, chicken sandwiches and stuff, but I don't have any buns. I literally, oh, I also have the, uh, I also have some protein bars, but I always forget that I have them. They're not even the good ones, because Aikens, they stopped selling the fucking birthday cake Aikens bars at Walmart, and it's like, what the ever-loving goddamn fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? You've got the best tasting protein bar on the market. Not only that, but it's cheaper than most of the other fucking protein bars in the store. And I buy two fucking boxes every single time I go to Walmart. But Walmart's just like, nah, we're not going to sell that. Oh, that's the end of the race already. We're not going to sell that. Let's fucking sell the shitty ass fucking chocolate dipped ones. Yeah. Okay, Tokyo Tower Hotspot was just unlocked, and we also got, ooh, Transmission Upgrades, 25% off. That's a pretty good actual thing. And it's also at all tune shops, and you don't have to go to fucking one of them specifically. Even though they all perform the exact same functions. You only get the discount at certain fucking stores. So stupid. So stupid. Anyway. That's that race done, and we have completed the Sunshine Run. Woo! Everyone is very impressed. But now I have to go to work in two fucking hours. So... So I fucking door dashed Arby's, basically. Got the Wagyu burger because, yum. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. But now it means that I fucking am fat. So I gained a bunch of fucking weight. Instead of losing weight. Some things never change. You must have really strong thumbs from dominating at all the arcade games. Hint, hint! One shot. One shot's all I need. Oh. Uh. Oh, no! It went out of bounds. That counts as an extra stroke. Fuck. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> because it's worked with everyone else. Everyone else just loves to sit and listen to me, bitch. No wonder I have so many subscribers, because everyone just loves to sit and listen to me, bitch. That's just what this game has proven to me, is that my channel is valid. Surely this will make Harry Johnson fall in love with me and me beating his ass in the nude buggies. 